An assembly is where you position and establish movement between parts, instance parts if multiple are needed, and define a product structure by creating sub-assemblies. An assembly is an environment where you can simulate movement of a complete product or system by defining its dynamic motion using mates and mate connectors. Understanding mates is explained in future videos. Parts should be instanced in an assembly when multiple of the same part are needed in a design. Instancing at the assembly level ensures an accurate count in the bill of materials table. For larger designs, sub-assemblies might be created to define a product structure. Product structure defines a hierarchy of the components and allows for reuse of a specific component composed of multiple parts without having to remate or recreate it. To create a new assembly, click the plus sign at the bottom of the document and select Create Assembly. When an assembly tab is active, the assembly toolbar displays at the top of the graphics area. In the toolbar, you can access the different types of mates and other assembly tools that Onshape offers. Mates define a positional relationship between the other components in the assembly or can establish motion by restricting the needed degrees of freedom to obtain the desired movement. To rename the assembly, right-click on the tab and select Rename. Input the new name and press Enter. The graphics area in the middle displays all the parts that have been inserted into the assembly and where you insert additional components. Parts can freely move in an assembly until they are defined with mates. Dragging components in an assembly is discussed in a future video. An assembly has a defined origin that is listed in the instance list on the left and viewable in the graphics area. This locates the 000 of the assembly and defines an orientation. The graphics area in an assembly can be rotated, panned, or zoomed with mouse controls or the view cube, like the Part Studio. You can also adjust the display style of an assembly, such as options for hidden edge display or changing how tangent edges are viewed. Additionally, create a section view using the view options or utilize curvature visualization or interference detection. To measure between components, select the entities to measure, the measurement displays in the bottom right. For a more detailed measurement, select the measure tool in the bottom right corner. For reviewing mass properties of components with an applied material, select the mass properties icon and select a component or an entire assembly. The instance list is located on the left side of the graphics area. It lists all instances of each part or sub-assembly that compose the main assembly. Below the instances are mate features, which lists any mate, mate connector, or group defined in the assembly. Unlike the features list, the instance list is not order dependent. Onshape solves for all instances, mates, mate connectors, and groups at once. Items display for professional and enterprise users and list non-geometric items like grease or glue that have been added to the bill of materials for assembling. Onshape cross highlights selections in the graphics area and instance list. Selecting a part in the graphics area highlights that instance in the list. Also, selecting an instance in the list highlights the part in the graphics area. Show the bill of materials table by clicking the icon on the right of the graphics area. This opens a flyout that displays a table. A bill of materials or BOM lists the quantities of each unique part needed to create the main assembly. The BOM in Onshape automatically updates as assembly changes are made. Selecting a row cross highlights those parts in the graphics area and instance list. The bill of materials is explained further in a future video. Leverage assemblies to create dynamic motion and define product structure with sub-assemblies and instancing of components.